This video is an introduction to using the Solar Schoolhouse Solar Fountain Sculpture Set and accompanying activities in the teacher guidebook. Activities include simple exploration, collecting and analyzing data, and designing solar water pumping solutions. Powering a water pump with solar cells is a powerful way to introduce students of any grade level to the art of design and science of solar energy. In the teacher guidebook, we have provided four potential activities that can be tailored for your classes. The lessons are designed so that they build on each other, but are also valuable as single lessons, if time or skill levels do not allow you to teach all of them. A table in the front of the guidebook can help you determine which of the lessons are best tailored for the grade level and standards you are teaching. The four activities are as follows. First, the Solvon Solar Fountain Design Challenge. Second, Sunny Side Up. Third, What's Your Angle? And fourth, the 365 Day Simulation. In the Solvon Challenge, your class is on a trek through the desert and arrives at a small village that is run out of water. The fossil fuel supply to run the generator powering the pumps has been interrupted. An unopened solar pumping set is found nearby, though without instructions. Your team must figure out how to make a solar pump system to deliver water and bring the village back to life. The tools needed for the Solvon Design Challenge are a solar fountain sculpture set and a timer. By simple play and exploration, the students will gain familiarity with how the solar cells and fountain interact. The Solvon Design Challenge provides a scenario where students can engage in creative problem solving and design thinking. We found that it is best not to show students images of sample fountains beforehand and instead allow for their own creativity to drive their designs. This activity works well for students who may or may not have any prior experience with solar. With only one solar fountain sculpture set per class, this activity would work well as a station where teams of students rotate through. Sunny Side Up. Your class has arrived at the local environmental center to find the solar array that normally powers the water pump lying on the ground after having been blown off by winter storms. Your class's first task is to conduct an experiment to determine which direction to point the solar array to provide maximum water volume during your stay at the center. For this activity, you will need a solar fountain sculpture set, a compass, a ruler, a drafting triangle or protractor, chalk, a sun angle quadrant, and cardboard fountain array stand, which can be found in the teacher guidebook, a stopwatch, two measuring cups or plastic containers marked in liters, and optionally two digital multimeters. Creating the cardboard fountain array stand can be part of the lesson if your students are ready for basic geometry. If you did Activity 1 Solvon Design Challenge with your students, then you can use the winning fountain sculpture design in this activity. Otherwise, use a simple H-base fountain design. In Sunny Side Up, students will use experimentation and data collection to problem solve and find the best orientation, east, south, or west, for a solar array. If you have three solar fountain sculpture sets, set them up in the three directions and have different teams record data simultaneously. If you have only one, do the experiment over the course of three sunny days and talk about how the added variable may have affected your results. If you have different classes throughout the day, each class can participate in logging data, citizen science style, and contribute to a multi-class data set that all can then analyze to determine the optimum direction for the solar array. The next activity, What's Your Angle?, requires a solar fountain sculpture set, two digital multimeters, a compass, a ruler, a drafting triangle or protractor, chalk, 
a solar compass rose, and two sun angle quadrants, which can be found in the teacher guidebook. Through experimentation, data collection, and analysis, students will realize that the solar panel must be perpendicular to the angle of the sun to achieve maximum amperage and flow rate. After students have rotated through this station, looking at the results as a whole class will show that the best tilt angle changes as the day goes by and the sun moves in the sky. Students will learn how to find the sun's altitude and use data to discover a solution. Activity 4, the 365-day simulation, requires a computer with internet access and the completion of activities 2 and 3. In activity 2, students found the best orientation for a particular day, and in activity 3, they found the best tilt angle for a particular moment in time. Since the sun also changes its path in the sky with the seasons, this 365-day simulation will allow students to see how much energy a solar system would produce over the course of a year at a particular tilt and orientation. By running the simulation several times, students will learn how simulations can help find the maximum energy protection for a whole year. They begin to see the complexity of designing a solar system array. If your students are excited and energized after playing, experimenting, and designing with the Solar Fountain Sculpture Set, you may want to help them design and build a permanent solar fountain in your school garden. Another project extension is to allow students to create a fountain using recycled materials for a class competition.